what up y'all here with another video showing you guys how to get re framework to get working on the steam deck to play on re2 re3 monster hunter government cry whatever you name that uses the re engine so let's get to it first thing you're gonna need is of course the re framework so you could grab this at prey dogs github at RE framework right there. Get the latest version here, as you see. And make sure you grab the RE2 version. And once you got that downloaded, go ahead and extract that. And then once you get that, you take all you're gonna need is one file. And that file is D input 8.dll. Put that in your main fo uh, your main folder for RE2, and you go there by going to Steam, and right-clicking, go to the Manage, and Browse Local Files. And once you're there, let me back out of Steam. Put your file in there, and it should be right there. Bam. Put your file right here. And uh, before you do this, make sure you at least run the game one time before doing this. I'm not sure if that will help, but I just, you know, just for... So your uh, settings can... Uh, so you can get your settings right and stuff. All right. So uh, then now what you're going to want to do is, of course, D, the D input the uh, 8 is not going to work when you load up the game. So, of course, you're going to want to go to local. Go to your home. Go to local share and then go to steam and then steam apps And then compact data. And then once you hear, these are all the games in your Steam. So make sure. Okay. Oh, blah, blah, blah. This is the folder that is Resident Evil 2. So I'm not sure if it's the same for everybody, but this is the one. And you click on it. Go to P. Uh, go to PFX. And then go to user reg. Open it up. And go all the way to the bottom. Until we reach software wine DLL overrides. That is the line you want to look up for. It's usually around seven 700 line. So just keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. All right, here he is. Bam. These are all the DLL inputs so far. And at the bottom, you can see I inputted mine. Uh, I don't know if you can see but it's at the bottom right here the last one i'm going to put the command that you need in the description of this video or if you can see it then you can just copy it here but make sure it's the same but i'm going to include all that all the details in the description of this video okay so once you put that there make sure it's right under there and make sure it's blue, you save, and that's pretty much it.
Go back to game mode. Now for the Proton build, I'm using GE Proton because I used the, the native version of Proton and it didn't work with um, RE Framework. I'm not sure, something, but yeah, when I first used it with Proton, it crashed. And I'm not sure if that's just how the, how it's, um because it has to build the, the, the folder, so. So let's launch the game. If you don't see the pop-up, then it didn't work. So make sure to include, I'm using GE Proton uh, 7 dash you see that's the menu if you don't see this menu then it doesn't work then it didn't work and of course um, I have my back pedals to toggle insert because the insert key is what you need to toggle the menu so you can toggle toggle And also, when you use this, um, when you use this, uh, this mod, it will put border, uh, borders on the top of the screen, even though regardless of what resolution, there's a fix in that menu. It's, just look around in that menu, and this should be a, a FOV fix. You apply that, and the game will fix. I think it's in the it's around developer tools or around there just just may uh, just mess around with the with the settings and as you can see I'm in first person mode right now makes the game way more immersive and I honestly want more first person games like this that have a way more realistic uh, feeling when it comes to uh first person mode and not just your head attached to your your arms and shit this is way more like realistic in my opinion you can see jill boobs you know you can adjust the fov to what you're liking in the first person mode in the first person um tab of the menu yeah and that's pretty much it and this also works with other games so it's just not with re2 it's all the games that run in the re engine all right thanks guys thanks for watching